Today we're going to demonstrate our uh, Tensor Gun V-Mill, and that actually makes a sample for the ASCM D5379. What it's going to do is it's going to take a blank, uh, 3 inches by 0 0.750 inches, and you're going to insert that blank into your template. You can actually insert, in this case, for this example, I'm only going to be doing one at a time, but you could insert uh, quite a few blanks depending on the width of your blanks in there. You can do about, we recommend probably no more than inch worth of uh, blanks. You don't want to overload your template. But then you just tighten down your other set screws on the sides. Tighten them in good and snug because you don't want your blank moving. And then when we machine it, we will actually machine on one side and then we will flip the template around machine it on the other side. Uh, now just as a warning, the template doesn't have any functional difference between the top and bottom. So we've introduced a difference in that we put one rounded screw on the top so that if you have it upside down, it will noticeably rock on you. So if it rocks on you, you just need to flip your template back the other way around and then you're good to go. Now our machine, we have uh, a number of features here that I'd like to point out. First off, your gauge. This is only to make sure when you replace your cutter wheel, this is only to make sure that the cutter wheel is at the proper height for the template. That is important, but it's not something we're really going to cover at the moment. Uh, secondly, you have your cutter wheel here, and your template will simply go back and forth. You go across, and then you flip your template around, and you go back across, and then, then you will move your template, or you'll move the body of the machine, you'll turn the guy to the back here, and the guy is actually set up. We have a pin to stop the, the guide at the proper depth for your sample. In this case, the sample is supposed to be 450 thousandths between the notches, so it'll go in 150 thousandths on each side. And again, you have to make sure every time you flip it around, you do one side, then the other, otherwise you'll get an uneven sample and that just will not work for your testing. Uh, so you'll make your first pass. In this case, we're gonna make, it's a, it's a nice, easy carbon fiber, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a uh, 50 thousandths pass, flip it around, another 50 thousandths pass, and then we'll turn ourselves in, and then we go another 50 thousandths, 50 thousandths, and then turn ourselves in again, and we'll do 45, 45, and then we'll do finish passes of 5 one thousandths and then 5 one thousandths. In this whole time, we will have our vacuum on, which will collect not all, but a fair amount of the dust from this whole machine. Uh, with that being said, we're about ready to go, so I'm going to turn things on and get us going here. deep in there and that's the start of your sample. So we're going to now, well I could have left this on but in this case I did not, but we're now going to adjust ourselves in another 50 thousandths. I'll turn it back on.
sides of the template. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this out and show you what we've got. And again, it's as easy as just loosening up the set screws. One and two. And then you pull out your sample. And if you got your point, Mike, you can go ahead, settle that in there carefully, and you'll see we're right on 450. So, that being said, that's how our pencil cut V-mill works.